Hi, welcome to Graphic Card Repairs. My name is Fraser, and today we have a Palette 3070 Jetstream. Uh, the user of this card, he's complaining of the card uh, crashing when under load. Um, so let's take a look at the card. Now, uh, to start off, uh, we will take some measurements. Uh, just to ensure that uh, we don't have any short. I don't suspect a short uh, because uh, the customer already, uh, the customer said that uh, the card starts up, but after some time, uh, it just crashes. So let's take a look. Let's do some resistance check. Uh, let's check the 12 volt PCIe. And we don't have a short. Let's take a look at uh, 3.3 volts and we don't have a shot uh, let's take a look at the 8 pin and we don't have a shot the second one we don't have a shot okay uh, let's also take a look at uh, the first pair of the data lines and It's fine. Uh, let's take a look at uh, PEX. PEX reset. Working. And uh, reference clock plus and minus. It's fine. Okay, so uh, we don't have any issues with any shots. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly put this card onto the bench and uh, we shall take a look uh, at what happens when we, uh, you know, turn on the card. So I'll quickly pause this video here, put this card on the bench and uh, we shall take a look from there. Okay, so I'll put the card on the bench. So we're going to start the card now. Let's check if we have a picture. And we do. Okay, let me boot from the correct drive. Okay, so uh, we are loading into Windows. Let me switch to the test bench completely. Okay, there you go. Let's, uh, you know, first take a look at the drivers. And the drivers seem to be fine. There's nothing wrong with the drivers here. Uh, let's take a look at uh, GPU-Z. Okay, so uh, the temperatures are Stable right now. Let's take a let's run a couple of tests. Let me open heavens. And valley as well. Okay, so uh, I already see the temperature rising on the hotspot, which is not a good sign. Let me 
run permac as well. Okay, so you can see the hotspot already at 107 and the card may crash anytime. So I'll quickly stop because this is not normal. Uh, let me quickly stop. Okay, so uh, as soon as we run the stress test, you can see that the temperatures jump uh, really high. Uh, 107 is at a critical level. Uh, let me shut down the card and uh, open open the card for you. Okay, so I'll pause the video here, and uh, you know I'll open the card and we'll get on the test on our uh, workbench. Okay, so uh, I've opened the card. I don't see anything wrong with the thermal pads. The thermal pads were fine. Uh, it's just that they are broken now since I've removed it. But if you take a look at the GPU core, let me get it closer. You can see that uh, you know the area here does not have any uh, thermal paste. It's completely off. Now, this card was not opened before. I've, uh, you know, the thing was sealed. I don't see any kind of uh, thermal paste or, sorry, not thermal paste, but uh, any flux or anything. So, and the, the pads look original. Uh, I think this is from factory. The, the thermal paste is very dry. You can see this over here as well. Uh, let me see. Okay. So you can see that this part over here is completely shining and that's not a good sign. So the thermal paste was here, but nothing here. So on the top of the GPU uh, core, there's absolutely nothing. You can see the shine over this, the top side here. And that's really sad. I feel this is factory. This is nothing to do with the, you know, no one has opened this card, so I don't suspect this card was tempered or anything. But uh, this thing was factory. And uh, I don't think this, I, I don't understand uh, why the thermal paste is so less. It shouldn't have been. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll just, clean this with some isopropyl alcohol and uh, put some new thermal paste there. I'll show you how I apply thermal paste. Uh, <clears throat> let me first clean this off. Just brush it over. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay. Time for some new thermal paste. So this is what I use, MX4. So what I do is uh, I apply a small pea size paste onto the coal and uh, just spread it over. So uh, when applying thermal paste, uh, you need not uh, put a ton, just enough. Uh, you know, the, the, the thermal paste should be thin. It should not be thick. There shouldn't be a layer of thermal paste over it. It should be as thin as possible. The, the, the reason why uh, or the idea of the thermal paste is to uh, 
reduce the air gap. So it should just fill in and aid in the transfer of the heat. Uh, so the thinner the thermal paste, the better. But it, there should be sufficient uh, amount that, uh, you know, there should be something to make contact with. Okay, so uh, that's about it. Let me show you. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some new uh, thermal pads. And uh, these are 0 0.5 mm. Uh, so I'll put new thermal pads, assemble the card, and uh, it will be ready to test again. Okay, so uh, I've gone ahead and replaced the thermal paste and uh, put new thermal pads there. So we'll go ahead and uh, check if uh, that has helped and made any difference to the card. So I'll quickly pause the video here and put this card on the bench and uh, take a look from there. Okay, so the card is on the bench and uh, let me start the card up. Let me boot to the correct drive. Let me switch over for you. Okay, uh, let's take a look at GPUZ. Let's start it up first. Let me open up Evans. And Valley as well. And I will run Perma. So the same test what we did earlier, just to check what the temperature is like. Okay. So uh, previously we saw that by this time the temperatures were already at 107. Currently the temperatures are running at about the, the hotspot is at about 73, which is not bad, uh, which has a delta of about uh, less than 15. So as long as it's within that 15, uh, between 15 degrees between the GPU and the hotspot, we are good. So let's keep it running for some time, say may, maybe for about two minutes. I'll keep this card running, uh, you know, beyond this for about an hour or so just to make sure but uh, if the temperatures are stable uh, for stable temperatures i'll refer to the firma just to see if we have a straight line okay so the temperatures are quite stable right now i don't think the car is going to crash anymore um so it's it's just about the thermal paste that was really very bad uh that something like that could miss out of factory i i think it's uh, factory it's not someone uh 
or I don't think the user opened that card because the seal was there. Uh, I've also not seen any flux. So it, when I observed the card, it didn't look like it was worked on before. So uh, that's about it. So now I see the temperatures are nice and stable, running at running between 80 to 84 degrees, which is excellent. That's the hotspot. Uh, so that's about it for this video. So it's just a short video. Something I wanted to highlight on how the, uh, this card missed, uh, you know, factory quality check and uh, that, that, that resulted in, uh, you know, extremely high temperatures. So 107 and now we are at about uh, 80 to 84 on hotspot. So uh, that's about it for this video. I hope you like this video. If you do like it, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you and have a good day. Bye for now.